Hello everyone, and welcome to episode 164 of Animal Crossing New Horizons. In the last episode, we are going, we built, not in the last episode we are going, in the last episode we built, uh, popcorn, like the ultimate popcorn machine. And in this episode, we are going to get another fun challenge from the King of Fun. Yeah, we've been doing this for, we've been getting a lot of fun challenges lately, and I, and I love them. I really love them. Anyway, today's birthday is Wart Jr. Not just any wart, it's Wart Jr. And he has a lot of warts. Look at that smile. Let's start and get our island-wide broadcast from Tom Nook. Oh wait, that was like uh, the first uh, 14 episodes, I think? I don't know. <laughs> that was at the beginning of the game. Oh yeah, when I built the ultimate popcorn machine, that was actually a part of the item challenge where I had to buy something from the store, and then I had to theme a, I had to theme something around that. Like I had to build something themed around that one item. Hello there, everyone. Right now on Jacktown, it's three fifty-six p.m. on Friday, August twenty-first, twenty twenty. Hmm, there really isn't any news to speak of today. You don't say. By the way, did anyone tune in for that documentary show that was on TV yesterday? No. It was all about the history of dodgeball, and actually, it was quite informative. For one, I learned that do talking about dodgeball puts me right to sleep. For one thing, I learned that talking about dodgeball puts me right to say. Hey. Oh dear. I should be doing this. I know all of them. There I go again, prattling on about my personal TV habits. Sorry, folks. And with that, I'll get back to work supporting you and your enjoyment of our island. Anyway. Ooh, we have mail! We got something from D.Va. We got a wall-mounted candle, which I'll get to later. And we got something from Gullivar. Let, let's do D.Va first. Check it out, Tom. You ever hear that if you raise a flower you plant it yourself, your wish will come true when it blooms? I kind of don't believe that, but try it out on these and let me know what happens. Who can say D.Va? Okay. So what sort of flowers does the, the frog be giving me? Red mums. Hmm, nice. Okay, this, I just have it. Just, 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 I'll get to that later. I'll get to that later. Anyway, um, Gullivar, we helped him in the last episode, so he's gonna get us a pirate-themed item. What sort of pirate-themed item do we get? Pirate treasure chest! We got an actual item! Okay, so most of, like, there are, like, five items that are actual items. The rest of them are just clothing. We finally got a good one. Well, the pirate clothing is good, but we finally got a, uh, whatever you call it, a item. <laughs> anyway, let's see what it looks like. There's no room. There's plenty of room. Oh, maybe it's, maybe it's really big. Yeah, my beach is really cluttered. Whoa! Look at that! Okay. Big, big Papa Panda. I, I entrust you with guarding my treasure chest, okay? Okay. Anyway. Um. I'll show you what I wanted the wall-mounted candle for. It's just a, it's just a little thing. Okay, so up here I have a little welcome sign, and it has one a candle right here, and I decided I wanted a candle on both sides, so that's why I bought it. Yeah, it's not... <laughs> There, there's another reason, though. There's another reason why I did this. I thought, you know what, it's okay. I can just, uh... I can just n live with only having one candle. 
But then I discovered something upstairs, and I, and I said, oh, right, I'm going to buy the candle so I could lure myself upstairs so I could show it in the episode. And that thing is, I found out how to make a stormy tank. That's right. A stormy tank. It looks like it's... Okay, so what I did is I used this shower up here and placed it above a frog tank, and now it looks like it's raining in the tank. That is really cool, and it works with any creature. So if you want it to rain in the desert, then put a scorpion under it. If you want it to rain in the ocean, then put a fish under it. Yeah, just a really cool thing that I thought of, and it looks... It just looks amazing, really. Wait, what would happen if I turn the lights on? And eh, it doesn't look that good with the lights on. Anyway, I just wanted to lure myself up there, so that's what the candle is about. <laughs> and plus, the candle looks good. Anyway, I'm really proud of thinking that. <laughs> I hope... Okay, so, um... I, I, hope I, I hope I see some more people using it. Anyway, right, uh... Let's go into Nook Shopping. Hmm, I think I might not have that. Wait, I got I gotta check a um thing to, just to make sure. One of these one of these thingies. Okay, um what was it called? Oh yes, I already have it. Too bad, so sad. Anyway. I hope CJ comes today, because I got a lot of sharks from Shark Island. And, uh, yeah, I want to make a lot of money. Anyway, let's go into the Nook store to see if there's anything cool. Eh. I mean, eh. I'm leaving. Right, I'm leaving. There's nothing really cool there. If you know what I mean. Anyway, I want to find CJ if he's here. That's what I'm doing next. Just looking for CJ. Because I'm pretty sure he should be the one here. Like, processes of elimination. I'm pretty sure he's here. Let's see, is he in, up in... Is he up in Jack's Park? Doesn't look like it. There is a very... There is a frog container that is not rainy. Yeah. <laughs> I wish you could place, like, wall-mounted things on cliffs outside. That would be cool. Like, just think, right there, I could have, like, say, just, I don't know, like a clock. I know it wouldn't make sense, but it would look cool. I mean, like, it would be, I mean, it would be a good idea for people that have better ideas. Oh, CJ, and he's right here. I found him, and I was right that he is here. Right. I don't really care about talking to him right until, <laughs> until, um, I get these, uh, until I have the fish in my pockets. Oh, that treasure chest. You know what, that looks really cool. I really wanted the cannon the most, but I think honestly this one's cooler. Anyway, I got a lot of loot from Shark Island and I can't wait to cash it in. Cha-ting for a profit. Cha-ting. Anyway. Oh, and by the way, I'm trying to get every model, so some, so, uh, the Ocean Sunfish, the, like, the only shark model that I don't have is the Ocean Sunfish, even though it's not a shark. I'm just, the only finfish model that I don't have is the Ocean Sunfish. So, that's the only one I'm, uh, getting a model of this time. What I'm trying to say is I'm getting every mod, I'm trying to get every model. So, yeah. Yeah. I don't have an ocean sunfish model. Yeah. Just 
takes so long. Okay, let's see. Ooh, it's beautiful. It's really beautiful, you know? Anyway, let's go, let's go cash it in and get a ocean sunfish model. Yeah. Can't wait for that. I heard like, like if now once I cash in this ocean sunfish model, I will have all of the big fish models. Cause sometimes CJ will go a step up with the models and give you bigger versions of the fish. Like, like say, like say it's, it's like, Normal fish models are small, but sometimes he'll make it big. He'll make big models. Once I get the ocean sunfish model, I have all of those. Every single one of the big models. Anyway, CJ here coming at you. Uh, well, it's more like standing by you, I guess. Yuck, yuck. Anyway, ever since I started doing my sea sports challenges, I've been trending in a huge way. It's so slick. Each time someone navigates a challenge, I have to buy up their fish. I even pay premium. Ooh, I like premium. I only offer to buy after a challenge, though. Keeps it interesting. Yep. But everyone's aboard. I get way fresh fish for my live stream, and the lucky angler gets showered in bells. <coughs> so how about a challenge, sea sports style, right now? Win and I'll yeah, 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 I get it, I get it, I get it, I get it. Plus, my partner didn't make the collectibles if you want one. He's so talented. Yuck, yuck. Make me a collectible. Whoa, you want to get a collectible going? Well, all right. That's all right. Check your tackle box, pick out your fish, and I'll have my partner start casting your collectible. Ocean sunfish, baby. Nice ocean sunfish. And you're cool with giving me three of them? Yes, please. I would love an ocean sunfish model. Fantastic! You got it! I'll get your ocean sunfish collectible going. Just an FYI, genius takes time! My partner's on it though, so as soon as it's done, I'll drop you a line. Okay. Wait, 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 wait. I gotta I got do the challenge. What up, Fishinista? Picked the name for your regular Sony yet? <laughs> I'm going to put your name on a Sea Sports Challenge highlight reel and get you paid! Yuck, yuck. Anytime you want to step up, just, uh, yeah, just step up. Got a Sea Sports Challenge? You got it, jump! Time to dive in and score this challenge! Yuck. Alright, today I want you to catch three big time fish in a row, all about the size of a puffer fish. That's not a big time fish. That's like a it's like a medium time fish. And critters like top turtles or snapping turtles also count. They're pretty big too. Yuck. And don't go catch another size fish or my subscribers will get mad and there goes your streak. Oh, and don't let them flip off your hook either. That'll cut your streak too. Sorry, oh, no, oh, no. C request. oh no, CJ has a toxic fan base. <laughs> I know, I know. So many rules. But I gotta keep folks happy or my views drop. Now go catch something! Yeah, yeah such a t toxic fan base. <laughs> Whoa, wait a second. Already a big, a huge time fish. Don't have anything. Okay, so I'm going to use this fishing rod for now. It's, it's got so much durability, I don't think it's going to break, so... Yeah, I'm just going to use this decorative one for now. And then, one. And then once uh, I catch this fish, I'll make a. I'll make. I'm. I'll make a real one. I mean, I mean one that I could use for real. Fifteen thousand fish. I, I mean, I can cash that in too. That's number one. Good thing that didn't break. Anyway, let's go ahead and craft a fishing rod. But first, to clear out a little space, how about we uh, plant the diva flowers? Plant the flowers that diva gave me. I don't know. Right here. Sure, sure, sure. Not a lot of people will see them when they're small, but when they get big, everyone will see them. Anyway, uh... 
Let, let, let's go craft a fishing rod. A rod for fishing. So yeah, we're like 17 minutes into the video and we've already caught a Dorado. 17 minutes, that's a lot of time. Oh, these videos just go so fast. Probably because they're like my favorite part of the day, so they just go too fast. One more stick tree. Yes, good tree, good tree. That's my tree. That's my tree, right there. Okay, flimsy fishing rod. I just need a flimsy one after all, I'm only catching two more fish. Or if I end up catching another thing, it'll be a bunch more. Anyway, that looks like a, well, if CJ counts a puffer fish as a big time fish, then this is a big time fish. Okay, what are you? Black bass, is that counted as a big time fish? That's big time fish number two. Wow, like, CJ, okay, maybe the toxic fan base strikes again and this is why he doesn't know how to <laughs> measure a fish. Yeah, that's too small, I feel like. Ooh, a drone beetle. I don't why, know why I said ooh, because it's nothing! Anyway, I think I see a shark! Boom. If this is a sucker fish and it breaks my streak, I'll be so mad. Okay, what are you? Great white shark, baby! Two of the fish that I caught big time were 15,000 fish. And I get premium. All oh, things are going good. Ting! We're gonna get so much money. All oh, right, I still have to do a fun challenge after this because, in, you know, I already said I have to do a fun challenge, so it's just set in stone. I have to, I have to do a fun challenge. What up, Fishing East Down? Picking name for your What? You caught three fish already? And all three of them were big time? What? You caught three big time fish in a row already? Oh, well, I guess I got things mixed up, but yeah. still close. That's gonna make the chat explode. So much for my sea sports challenge. Free and so fish. much. Ooh, and so. Butterfly. I thought you were the fish one. Anyway. Yeah, I don't care about the butterfly. I just told you to look at it. Okay. So much for a toxic fan base, now they're gonna explode. <laughs> Photo up! Way to wreck that Sea Sports Challenge! What a haul! Hey, wanna sell any of those fish? Cause I wanna buy! I've got bills for nautical miles, so chime on in! Oh yes! Yes, please! Yeah, fly fisher, show me what you wanna sell! I would like to sell this black bass. <laughs> Along with a Dorado, four great white sharks. One, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten hammerhead sharks. And one, two, three, four, five, six, seven saw sharks. Ah, this is gonna get me so much money. And this is just the beginning. Oh, you got a whole school for me. All together, that'll be three hundred fifty-nine thousand one hundred bells. <laughs> you know? That is just the first round. Most of those weren't even the most exp Most of those were hammerheads, which are the least expensive shark, not including the ocean sunfish. Splash, make my viewers happy and I'll make you happy. Let's make it ring. Yeah, it's, the, yeah, it's the least expensive actual shark. I got a lot of sponsors. That must, that's, like, how does he make so much money? Even with, even with 
the fact that he has sponsors. Like, that's, that's crazy. Anyway, now it's time to bring in the biggest boys, a.k.a. the uh, Great White Sharks and the Whale Sharks. Oh, yeah. So much money, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, and I can pay off the bridge, the Zen Bridge. Anyway, I don't like to sell on Ocean Sunfish because they're so rare compared to how little they sell for. So, yeah. Sorry, Ocean Sunfish. Well, <laughs> why am I saying sorry? I'm not selling them. Oh, wait. I have an extra Arapaima. Sell that, too. I mean, the only reason I ever put pool fish inside the, uh... Um... Uh... Uh, storage is to sell. Like, the rest of the fish that I put there... Like, are, pro are for future projects, so... Yeah, I'm only selling, uh... Uh, w w one second, there's an eel. Anyway, I'm only selling the things that I want to sell. Ribbon eel! So yeah, we can add that on to the sell, sell, selly, selly, sellness. I'm really weird. Hey, if you're not weird, then you're extra weird. Come on. CJ, my main man, I got more fish. What up, fish in East Eppin? If you ain't your Sony yet, yuck. Hey, if you got fish to sell my arm, um, you hook up. I got bells jingling the hole in my pocket. Buy my fish. Great, what do you want to sell? I would like to sell a ribbon eel. An Arapaima, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight whale sharks, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight great white sharks, and nothing else. Sorry, CJ, that's all I got. Oh, you got a whole school for me. All together, that'll be 351,900 bells. Deal? Eh, change my, no. Of course. Of course. This is like amazing. Splash! Make my viewers happy and I'll make you happy. Let's make it ring! Yuck. I'm pretty sure I'm almost to a million. But my say but all of my uh, money is about to evaporate because I'm gonna go pay off that bridge. Wait, how much? Oh, that's that's too much money. I mean, like, um, they don't have any more space to do stuff. Aw, just kidding. It's it's more important to have money than space in your pockets. Hey, oh, good friend. Right now, I'm taking donations for a Red Zen Bridge. Our goal is 228,000 bells. Currently, we have 172,729 bells in donation, which is just lovely, isn't it? We still need 55,271 bells if you can pay a single bell. Great. We sure, appreciate I'll help. your support, friend. Okay. May I have 55,270 bells as a donation, friend? Yes. Thanks for the sports chum. Hello, good friend. Right now I'm taking donations for a Red Zen Bridge. Our goal is 228,000 bells. Currently we have 227,999 bells in donations, which is just lovely, isn't it? We still need one bell, if you can spare even a single bell, great. <laughs> we appreciate your support, friend. <laughs> May I have one bell as a donation, friend? Whoa, 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 wait, you never said that. That's way too expensive. No, 
Of course. Have one. Oh, it just made a little ting. Because of you, we've reached our goal of 228,000 bears. <laughs> Next step, project completion. Great work, buddy. Yeah. So yeah, tomorrow there will be a red zen bridge here and I think it's gonna look pretty spicy. Anyway, or whatever the word, oh, it looks like Clay is buying some clothes. I, I, I would buy this one. Anyway, let's get our challenge from the King of Fun cause I like fun challenges. And we haven't done one in this episode yet. Who's there? Who's there? Is it Nate? Oh no, it's my friend Jack. Hello, Jack. Hi. Welcome. Hi, may I have a fun challenge? I certainly do have a fun challenge for you today. Can you spruce up my area here, the pit of fun? Yeah, I can do that. It's feeling a little cramped, and it's not very much decoration, and it kind of smells a little funny. But other than that, yeah, just fix it up. Okay. Thank you. You know what? There's not a lot of room over there. How about I make our new pit of fun somewhere else? I'm down with that. Okay, where to put it? Where to put it? Ooh, get that butterfly. No, no. What is with people and the butterflies today? Why do, why do people want me to look at butterflies and catch butterflies? I like butterflies. Okay. Oh, here's the ultimate popcorn machine. By the way. Anyway, uh. Where should we? I want it around here. I mean, here would be a great place. You know what? Here would be a great place. Let's dig out the pit of fun. I mean, the new pig pit of fun. Ooh, and inside the pit of fun, we could have a pig of fun. Just, just a thought, you know. Okay. All right, I still need to clear out this flower to to be able to make the hole. Anyway, now it is time to open up the Island Designer app and make this hole. All uh, right, start construction. Let's start. Let's get rid of some of this cliffiness. Perfect. Oh wait, we need we need to get rid of these edges. There. Perfect. Wait a second. Wait a second. I forgot to do something. I need to get back in here so I can add a nice floor. How about sand? Sand would go good in here. Oops. Okay, we need to add some fun stuff in here too. We could add we could add a teacup ride. No, that's it, it's too small to add a teacup <gasps> ride. I do like tea. Yeah, I, I bet you do. In fact, you remind me of somebody that really likes tea. Anyway. There is our new pit of fun. The king of England? Um, 
I, I don't think I was thinking about him. Okay. Anyway, what? Okay, what do we? Let, let's let, let's look in the store. Wait, what is this? Yeah, no. Okay, what what is fun in my storage? Is are there any fun things that I can put there? He needs a jester, doesn't he? Hmm, maybe. Yeah, the the king of fun should have a jester of fun. I guess all jesters are of fun, though. So. Anyway, what sort of stuff do we have? Hmm. Oh, a gumball machine. Oh, and a rocking horse. And what else? Like, do I have any extra? Ooh, the uh, bunny dame lamp. And a baby panda. Hmm, what else could we put in there? I think that's I think that's good. There isn't not there's not that much room in there. Anyway, who is going to be the jester of fun? How about the jester of fun is a loach? Yeah, like obviously, why wouldn't why wouldn't the jester of fun be a loach? Tell me that. Dude. No, I'm pretty sure that he needs to be a loach, not a clownfish. Even though that would be funny. You know, no, I've, I already have my heart set on him being a loach. And plus, he's in a little pouch. Oh, I'm getting, I'm taking a really weird route to get to here. Anyway. Okay, how about we put a baby panda here? Wait, there can't be a baby panda in a pit? Oh, yes, there can. Anyway, baby panda here, rocking horse. There, there. I couldn't move it because the panda was in the way. So I have to move it the old fashioned way. Anyway, candy machine. Bunny day lamp. Um. You know what? Maybe the rock. Maybe. The back should have the rocking horse and the candy machine. Because the jester fun should be, uh, like, like, easily seeable, too. Oh, th th I don't know why. The panda just needs to go on the other side. He just does, you know? And, oh right, the, the, the Jester of Fun can't be, like, right in front. That's, that's the King of Fun. The job. Anyway, there is the improved Pit of Fun. Let's... Aw, oh, my dog, my dog, my dog's wondering what I'm doing. I'm, ma I'm making the King of Fun uh, an improved Pit of Fun. That's what I'm doing, doggy. Anyway. Let's let's add the king the, the pit of fun official sign. Uh display here. Painting. There. Now let's get the king of fun. Yeah, because this is no longer the pit of fun. Let's uh, get rid of this. And plus, I need to kind of—I kind of need to get there to get the king of fun to the new pit of fun. 
Bam! That, that, I haven't done that in a while. Anyway, let's let's pick up the King of Fun. And, Ooh, be careful. Okay. And you know what? I'll leave the pit there. I'll leave the old pit there. All right. There is a bit of nostalgia there. It was my home for quite a while. But I gotta tell you, that place was a pit. Anyway. Let, let's put... It looks more like a crib. You know. Is this my new crib? No, it's a, it's a, it's, it's the new pit of fun. The pit of fun? That other one was pitiful, but this one I can really dig. <laughs> it's wholly better than the other one was. Okay, okay, I've run out of pit jokes. I'm out. Okay, display here. Okay, there. He's he's wearing the hat of fun again. And there we go. We have a new and improved pit of fun. And it looks really good, at, honestly. It does. Thank you so much. I really like it. You win the challenge. Woo! No sour candy for you. Wait, there's more sour. I thought, like, he, he, you keep saying I'm going to have to eat sour candy if I fail any of these challenges. But you already eat. I you already ate. ate it all. You've already eaten all of them the first time that happened. Anyway, I want to catch this fish because it could be rare. I don't know why. I don't know why I think it could be rare. I just do. Oh, it's a catfish. Meow. Anyway, so yeah. Pitafon has now um been renovated now let's find our villager crafting and then we can end the episode i think i'm going to call this episode pit renovation i don't know what's going to go in the thumbnail but it's going to be called pit renovation Oh look, that's where our Bubbles put her sea grapes that I gave her. But she's not crafting, so let's leave. Oh, there's the traitor Nate. Right, I I I, I forgive Nate. It just it, it's it's an ongoing joke, so. You gotta pretend like I'm still mad at him. <laughs> yeah, it's not Diva either. Let's get out of here. I, I I don't know why, but I saved Peaches for last. Even though that, that could have meant that I wouldn't have got to visit her, but I still do. My favorite, Peaches. And she's, she's not even crafting. Then who's crafting? Yeah, Peaches, I, I'm, I'm confused too. Okay, it has to be Sky then. Oh no, Clyde's home. I, uh, I missed that. <laughs> anyway, it's either him or Sky. What's it, which one's gonna be? It's him! Check me out. I'm doing stuff. <laughs> what are you doing? I'm making me a deer decoration. <laughs> One of the bugs on the floor whispered the DIY instructions in my ear while I was sleeping last night. I already know so it. So I gotta build it before I forget what it even is. What? You already know how to make a deer decoration. Doesn't everyone? You I'm just need cool. one deer head. You're always on top of things. I'm oh, but, for, but first you gotta invite them. one to your village. <laughs> just kidding. It's made out of wood. About the deer decoration. So I scribbled down the recipe. If you know anyone who know how to make it, can you hand him this note? Especially if it's one of our deer neighbors. <laughs> and maybe apologize for the cookie grease I smudged on the middle part. Yeah. It'd be great if a bunch of folks made a deer decoration. 
Yeah, the wood. I'm not doing that. That little depopulate the deer population. That's just wrong. You hear me? That's wrong. Anyway, why am I going into the resident services center, you might ask? Well, the reason is so I could get my very old rusted part. And I can also get my very own bonus miles. Hooray. Uh, now I can sign off. And that's, uh, let's blow this popsicle stand. Bye, Nook. Bye, Isabel. I'm gonna end the episode next to the pit of fun. And yes, I am doing this, I'm going to do this voice for the rest of the episode. Which means I'm gonna have to play one-handed. It's a little hard to breathe. Okay, where, where? There, okay. <laughs> I'm not as fast without my, uh... I don't even want the ladder. I'm not I'm not as fast without my uh, other hand. Anyway, let's Oh, Sky was home. So it could have been her. Anyway, let's go over to the renovated pit of fun and end the episode. Thanks again, Jack. I really enjoy my new place. It's, it's peachy. You're, you're, you're welcome. Anyway, thank you for watching. That was the thinker. Anyway, thank you for watching this episode. In the next episode, I don't know what we're going to do. We're going to do, uh, we're going to get our first fun challenge from the King of Fun in a renovated pit. But anyway, thank you for watching this episode, and I'll see you next time. Bye. Oh. <laughs>